This animated design with a parallax effect can add movement and depth to your sights and make them really stand out. Let's recreate it. Feel free to build along. We'll start by giving our section a height of 670 pixels. Now, let's give our background some movement with a video. From the Add panel, choose a video box and drag it to the canvas. Now go to the Inspector panel and turn on Advanced Settings. To make the video fill our whole section, set it to 100% width and 120% height. We want our video to be constantly running, so we'll go to Behaviors, set it to start automatically, play without any pauses, and loop when it ends. Awesome! Next, we'll add our headline image. I'm using this one. Resize it and position it how you want it. I'll center mine. To create our header, we'll add a title and customize it. I'm using Verdana, but go with whatever font you like. I'll resize it to 24 pixels. Now we'll duplicate it twice and edit the text. Position the elements to the top right and then align them. We'll also stack them to make sure they stay in the right place for different breakpoints. Great! Now on to the footer. Let's add another title to the left side and customize our font, size, and color. Like with our header, we'll duplicate it twice more, position the elements on the left, and adjust the text and sizing. Finally, we'll stack these elements too. Now let's add our car image from the Add panel. Resize it by dragging from the corners and position it. Mine will be in the center. Next, we want to place our image inside a container. We'll need this to add our animations. Finally, select the footer and choose to bring it to front so it won't be hidden behind our car image. Awesome! Let's start animating now. We'll open the Layers panel and select our car image inside the container we just created. We'll add a mouse effect. Then choose Track 3D. Click on Adjust Animation, and the settings I'll use are 23 for angle, 650 pixels for distance, 0.7 for speed, and 2.6 for perspective. For its movement axis, I'll choose Horizontal, so it will only track our mouse movement horizontally. Now, go back to the Layers panel and select the image's container. Here, we'll add a loop animation and choose Breathe. In Adjustments, I'll set the values to Vertical, 15 pixels distance, and 0.4 duration. Click Preview, and we can see some nice movement of our car. Lastly, to add the moving cloud element to our design, go to Add Elements and select Transparent Video. Once it's added, select it and turn on Advanced Settings. To make it move all the way out of screen and in again, set the sizing to 150% for both width and height. Finally, to add even more character to our site, let's change our cursor image. I'm going to add this pink steering wheel. Okay, let's preview the full page. Our animations look great, and we did it all in only a matter of minutes. For more tutorials like this, and to discover what you can do with Wix Studio, check out our academy.